So we discussed how sharpen is used in object mode in order to allow you to just quickly mark all the edges of a certain angle threshold, in this case 30 degrees. In edit mode, it also has a counterpart called mark, where if you press Q, the first option you see is this tool called mark, and mark is a multi-tool just like sharpen, however, the edit mode version is slightly different. When it comes to the object mode version, it just marks edges and allows you to unmark them, resharp, and of course add weight at normal. But when it comes to edit mode, the main thing that you're going to be using mark for is just unmarking edges that perhaps you manually do not wish to have marked. Uh, alternatively, if you have nothing selected and you press Q and you run mark, it will actually run an S sharpen in edit mode, basically running a calculation. So to just show that in action, we'll insert a cube and press Control Alt Numpad minus. That will uh, perform a difference. And with nothing selected, we could just press Q, hit mark, and it will just perform the operation. We can also see that there's additional options inside of mark whenever we hover over it and look at the tooltip. And that is the ability to basically bevel and mark a V group, the ability to hold shift and jump into our new edit tool, uh, edit multi tool that's been created. We wanted to make it as accessible as possible. So just shift clicking it will jump you into it, which we'll be going over later. Alt clicking will allow you to adjust the bevel weight, which is just a quick way to get in and adjust your bevel weight on the fly. Previously, I showed how you could go under operations and locate adjust bevel weight here. But because Mark is a multi-tool, we intended for some of these options that are farther away to be some of the most accessible and quickest to access. Uh, for example, you could easily add a bevel by just going under add modifier and just adding a bevel. And this will allow you to add a bevel in edit mode where we can begin adjusting it. However, alternatively, Mark has the ability to do that whenever you control click it. So we'll control click Mark and we see that we're able to mark this, allowing us to basically work in object mode and edit mode in tandem with the sharpen workflow, which is just a really nice way to just keep things under control.